Welcome to Creative Living, where we help you live your most creative life. I'm Jane Klaus. This year, holiday shopping is going to look a little different. So, to get you ready, we've got tips to help you check off your gift list. But before we start shopping, let's see what's coming up on the show. Why shopping early could be the only way to get your gifts this holiday. And Auto Trader shares the best way to find the car you want, even with the shortages. Plus, I show you an easy DIY costume that'll make your little one the star of the party. All that and more on this episode of Creative Living. You may have heard that holiday shopping might be a little bit more challenging this year due to supply shortages. And one place anticipating those shortages are independent bookstores. So joining us from Changing Hands Bookstore to talk about it is Michelle Malonzo. Hi, Michelle. Hi, how are you? I'm so great. I'm excited to talk about this because I have heard of these supply chain shortages. So what type of shortages are you anticipating? We're experiencing, we're preparing for shortages across all of our vendors. So for books and for gifts as well. So we are buying up and increasing our stock levels for key titles, bestsellers, staff favorites, larger quantities across the board um, for books and gifts because based on what we're seeing right now, publishers are going to run out, vendors are going to run out. So that's why it's important to get all of your Christmas or holiday shopping done now. More so than ever, buy it now. So because of the disruptions in the supply chain, I mean, how bad is it gonna get? It's going to get very bad. It's going to hit every industry um, because there's just been a boomerang effect of shipments not coming in on time, labor shortages, or they're trying to hire up new staff, but they're new and still being trained. And then you have the perpetual delays with, with carriers. That always happens every year and it's just being escalated. The holiday is your busy season and as many times as you say, buy it now, people are still going to wait. So how are you getting ready for those people and the shortages? You know, we're trying to message as much as possible. When customers are looking for a book, we are encouraging them to please, like, if you don't buy it now, we cannot guarantee that we're going to have it later on. There is this feeling that like, the buying season for the holidays starts after Thanksgiving, and that is just not the case anymore. Now, we can't let you go before you tell us, because you're the buyer for Changing Hands Bookstore. You gotta tell us the three must-have reads for the holiday season. Oh, it was hard to pin it down to just three, but if I must, Cloud Cuckoo Land by Pulitzer Prize winning author Anthony Doerr. He wrote All the Light We Cannot See. It's been um, quite a few years since he wrote a new novel and this one is just as epic and timeless. Uh, in fact, it crosses literally time and space. Uh, Matrix by Lauren Groff, which I adore this book. It's set actually in a, a nunnery in 12th century France. It's bold, there's mysticism, and it is the start of a trilogy, which is a new kind of writing for her, and I am here for it. And then last but not least, Harlem Shuffle by two-time Pulitzer Prize winner Colson Whitehead, who wrote Underground Railroad. It is a heist novel, a family novel. It's perfect for any reader. And we just happen to have limited signed copies of all three books in the store right now. So get yeah. them while supplies last. Uh, yeah, while supplies last is key right there. Michelle, thank you so much for joining us. And if you're looking for the perfect book, just go to Changing Hands website. What great gift to give yourself this holiday, some curb appeal. And you can start with a new look for your home's exterior with Rhino Shield. Rhino Shield is a industry leader in exterior coatings, but it's designed to hold up and weatherproof your house and actually be a long-term solution instead of paint.
It's a coating that's extremely thick. It's a lot like paint, but it's way thicker and, and holds a lot of properties. It has way more solids in the bucket, so it's usually 67% solids, where paint's usually 60% water. So you have a lot thicker of a product going on your house and protecting your house. It creates an energy savings because it's got ceramic in it, so the sun will actually reflect off. And it's, it's a breathable product, which most elastomerics fail. We offer over 1,500 colors in our fan index, but we can also match any other any company's colors as well. So really, any color that you would like on your house, we can get it matched. When we do Rhino Shield on your house first, we put a primer on the house, which is waterproof. And it actually has a little bit of lycopodium in it, which makes it repel water off of your house. So actually, your stucco is going to last way longer. Wood's going to last longer. Any su substrate on your home will last longer because of it. Rhino Shield has a 25-year warranty, which is transferable. So if somebody else, you know, you sell your house, somebody else moves in the house, they still have a warranty on the property. And if the coating peels, cracks, chips, or flakes, you give us a call, we'll come out there and get it taken care of for you. Super Shield is similar to the Rhino Shield coating, but it's formulated for the roof. It's a one coat system, and it protects your existing roof from things like cracking and peeling on your roof. So it also has uh, the same insulated properties as the Rhino Shield coating. So when used in tandem, it's really just a great way to protect your home from the elements. Super Shield extends the lifetime of your roof. It looks amazing, so you can choose any color you want on your roof. A lot like Rhino Shield, that actually creates an energy savings for your house. It's thicker than typical elastomeric products that are put on your roof coating, and it's designed to last a lifetime. The vast majority of the time, people are pretty excited about the way that it looks, the way that it feels. Uh, we're in Arizona, so it's pretty hot, but even to the touch, you can notice the difference versus regular paint. And that's my job is to make sure that we provide our clients not just meeting but exceeding their expectations that were set by the sales team. I mean, at the end of the day, our biggest benefit is service and the fact that we back up that warranty. So that's the biggest thing for us is making sure that we deliver not only an exceptional product but exceptional service to our customers because that's our biggest differentiator. We're really trying to deliver a different experience. We guarantee you're going to love the way it looks and feels because it's not paint. In a recent poll, 27% of shoppers said they planned on starting their holiday buying before September. And guess what? They have the right idea due to shortages. And one way to avoid the supply issues is to shop local. Buying unique gifts from your neighborhood stores will help up the chances you find the items you want. Let's see what's coming up next on Creative Living. Ways to find the car you want during the vehicle shortage. And making a simple and cute pumpkin costume. Climb to new heights with the help of Lexus of Las Vegas as we head to the pad. What's up guys, I'm Danielle Avari. Welcome into Experience Nevada where we explore all of the fun adventures that the Silver State has to offer. Today we're headed to the pad in Henderson, which is actually the largest climbing gym in Nevada. And to get there, we're gonna take the Lexus RX350. Here to tell us all about that awesome ride is Crystal from Lexus of Las Vegas. Thanks, Danielle. Today you're gonna to be driving the RX350. Just because you're picking up your kids from practice doesn't mean you have to drive a minivan. The RX350 has plenty of space for kids, cargo, anything that you need to take wherever you need to go. The RX350 is aesthetically pleasing as well. The lines of the grille are very attractive. It has a 12.3 inch infotainment system that's touchscreen as well. Did I mention the trunk space? There's room for whatever your kids throw in there. And you can find this vehicle right here at Lexus of Las Vegas. Thanks, Crystal. Now let's go find something to climb. I mean, besides these. All right, so first things first, we are headed out to Summerlin today to pick up some very special friends. 
I'm excited. We're going to have a really fun morning. Today we are in the Pad Henderson. We have a little bit of everything, a little bit for every kind of person, every kind of climber. So we have mostly bouldering. We do have a top rope area. We've got auto belays if you're coming in by yourself. You don't need to have any kind of skill to climb. Uh, if you can climb a ladder, you can climb a wall. The way that we have this gym set up is you can do things as easy as you want to be. So if you've never stepped into the gym, you don't need to be intimidated here. Everything's color coded. No one's here to judge you. No one <laughs> really cares what you're climbing. So if you feel like doing something that's easier, fine. If you feel like something just going up the wall and just touching the top, fine. If you feel like trying a little harder, you can't. We've got ping pong if you just want to hang out. We've got a slack line that you can like try to do your balance on. And whether you're a member, a guest, somebody who's never climbed before, somebody who's always climbing, there's something for you here. It doesn't matter your ability, doesn't matter your body type, doesn't matter your background. Come in, have fun, we'll find something for you. And if you feel scared because you're alone, you got all of us right here to help you out, to cheer you on, to help you out with whatever you need. <laughs> okay. Now how do I get down? Okay. <laughs> it's hard. I hope we recorded that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm spent. All right, we've had quite a day at the pad right here in Henderson. We'll see you next time on Experience Nevada. Getting the car of your dreams can be challenging right now because of the global chip shortage, but there are ways to find the car you're looking for. And lucky for us, the executive editor of Auto Trader is here to help us out. It's Brian Moody. Hey, Brian. Hey, thanks for having me. Always great to see you. So tell me this, is there still difficulty in finding a new or used car? The short answer is yes. There is still a shortage and there is increased demand. Uh, it's not a matter of not getting a car at all. It's more like, am I going to get the very super specific thing that I really wanted? It's more like that. If you spend time and energy, you can likely find something that's good for you that will work. So give us some practical tips that consumers can take to find the right car for them. Well, the first thing you can do is to be prepared. Know what kind of car you want, know what your budget is. And here's an important one, know your credit score. That's gonna make a big determination about what kind of loan you get, if you even need one, and what you can afford. Also, expand your search area. When you're looking for a car in your local area and you go online, which you most likely will, Look in a wider area than you normally would. That will give you a larger selection of vehicles to choose from. So let's talk a little bit about shopping online. What kind of tools online can we use to search for that new car? Well, these days you can do pretty much anything you want online. You can apply for a loan. You can search for specific cars. You can even go to a dealership website or use a site like Auto Trader. But of course, there are others and you can look for a specific car. And so before when I was saying like, hey, you can expand your search area, most online shopping tools allow you to do that. Do I wanna search 25 miles from home, 50, 100, or even more? The wider you make your search area, the more likely you are to have an abundance of vehicles. Now we've all heard about this car shortage and it's something we've been hearing about for months and months and months. Brian, put a positive spin on the current market that can encourage us that there is the right car out there for us. Right, so there's a couple of positive ways to look at it. For example, new car manufacturers, they're continuing to produce new models and new models are coming out. So as that happens, as time goes by and we get into 2022, there will be uh, somewhat of a better selection. The other positive comes from a person who might be trading in their car or maybe they're selling their personal car and downsizing. Your car is worth more. And your car is worth more because more people are interested in whatever you have. This assumes that you have a relatively modern car and it's in good working condition. Bottom line is your trading is probably gonna be worth more. Give us your top tip to help shoppers find their perfect car. You know, the one thing I tell people all the time is be flexible. So the, the less flexible you are, generally speaking, the more you're gonna pay and the harder time you're gonna have finding the car that's going to suit your needs. If you can be a little bit flexible in terms of the timeline and the options, that's gonna take you a long way toward getting the exact thing that's right for you. Brian, thank you so much for that great information. And if you would like more information, just head to Auto Trader's website.
Another tip to successful holiday shopping this year, don't wait for a deal. Due to supply chain issues, the hot toys and gifts may not be around when Black Friday hits. So if you see an item you want, get it and don't wait for a cheaper price because chances are it won't even be there. So in the spirit of the holidays, we won't make you wait to see what's next on Creative Living. We talk to manual builders about their community outreach for teachers and a quick and easy costume for your little trick-or-treater. Manual Builders has been a staple in the home industry for 55 years and community outreach is at the heart of what they do. Joining us to talk about that is the Custom Division President, Marie Watkins. Hi, Marie. Hi, Jane, how are you? I'm great, so great to have you on the show. Now, we know that Louisiana was devastated by terrible weather recently. How is Manual giving back and helping those in need? South Louisiana has been slammed pretty hard the last couple of years. We're years away from recovery. Uh, I am really proud of what Manuel's doing. We've partnered financially with companies um, like the, the Home Builders Association, with Love Acadiana, uh, individual families. But honestly, I think we're most proud of what our employees are doing. Um, without being asked, they sort of all started banding together, either to help with cutting down trees, clearing roads. We have one crew that's going down and they've cooked every weekend. They've fed over 1,800 um, individuals and families who are still without power, without water, and without access to local groceries. It truly is so special when you see how the community comes together. The owners of Manual Builders, Missy and Greg, have built a company on core values and expanding on those core values is education. So Marie, tell us how you're helping the teachers in Baton Rouge. So our, our core values are integrity, excellence, and community. And the community piece is obviously the one that we're, we're really reaching out um, in the education realm. It's always been in our hearts to support and honor those who are investing and raising, uh, in part, the, the next generation. So we have partnered with Livingston Parish Elementary Schools, and we opened it up for students to nominate one of their teachers and then tell us why that teacher is deserving of recognition, appreciation. And one teacher will receive $1,000 and their class will receive a pizza and treat party. And then five additional teachers will receive a, a gift card to a local restaurant, as well as a treat party for their class. I know you've got some other exciting news that you are doing in the world of education. We do, and I'm not allowed to say anything about it yet. So it's, it feels terrible because it's, it's really big and it's something that we've not gotten to do very often in the life of our company. Uh, I think they're going to make an announcement in January. Very excited to be part of it, uh, but it, it will also impact our schools. Now, Manual Builders is known for beautifully designed homes in gorgeous communities with great amenities. So talk about the idea of either buying a home in a community or building on the land that you already own. It would be what fits you or your family best. Uh, there are advantages on both sides. It's very individual to what is going to fit you best. If I'm looking to take a plan and customize, I want this house, but I want that master bathroom and that kitchen and put it all together, well then build on your lot. But if you're looking for more streamlined, I want to be in, I want to be in a neighborhood, then the community. Marie, thank you so much for joining us today. And if you want to learn more about Manual Builders, just head to their website. If you're looking to buy clothing this holiday, experts say wait until November. Retailers aren't fully stocked yet because of shipping delays, so they should have the best selection in November. And you know, when it comes to style, good selection is key. Stick around. We've got more coming up on Creative Living. I show you a cute DIY costume for your little one.
Dressing up is one of the most fun things about Halloween, but it can be expensive. So let's get creative and make a costume your little one will love. This inventive pumpkin costume is made from a repurposed pillowcase. It's really easy, super cheap, and you can make it at home in no time at all. So let's get started. You'll need an orange pillowcase. You can get one online or steal one from your mom's 1970s linen closet. Green ribbon, black felt, an old folder, chalk, and fabric glue. At the opening end of the pillowcase, cut two two-inch slits on the side seam. Now this is where you'll thread the ribbon through the hole and out the other side. It ends up being the neck of the costume. And it represents the stem of the pumpkin. To make the armholes, measure five inches from the neckline. And for smooth, fatigue-free cutting, use your Kai scissors to cut an opening four inches long. This makes it easy for the child to wear a warm sweatshirt underneath the costume for hours and hours of trick-or-treating. Cinch the top and tie a bow, and we're ready to move on to the pumpkin face. Cut out a stencil drawing of eyes, nose, and a mouth for your pumpkin face. It can be as traditional or funny as you want it to be. I like to use an old folder to make my stencils. Lay your stencils on the felt, trace around them with chalk, and cut them out. Position your pumpkin face on the center of the pillowcase and use fabric glue to attach it. Next, with your Kai scissors, cut the bottom of the pillowcase. That's the end seam where the pillowcase is already sewn together. Fold up the raw edge, iron it flat, and hem it using a liquid stitch or sewing machine or needle and thread. Add a few stitches to gather the lower left and right sides to create a ruching effect for the curve of the pumpkin. There you have it, an easy, inexpensive, adorable pumpkin costume made from an upcrafted pillowcase. Thank you so much for joining us here on Creative Living. Happy holiday shopping, everyone. I'm Jane Klaus, and I'll see you next time.